<clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Sorry. Thanks for stopping in uh, so early for a quick live stream. So as the title and the thumbnail suggests, uh, we're taking a look here at a rumor. And a rumor, it's amazing how fast these things can go around. I think it's, uh, there was a quote that says, uh, a rumor can make it uh, all the way around the world before the truth has time to put its shoes on. And this was uh, a rumor that someone had sent to me not more than 45 minutes ago, which said that uh, iShares, or BlackRock, got its uh, spot Bitcoin ETF approved. And uh, when I saw that, I'm like, hey, this is great. Now, I know on this channel, you know, many of uh, you guys have been listening and I've said that I don't think that the spot ETF approval will be this year or in March, but at some point it would actually uh, get approved. And um, I just think that's where we're going. Uh, but when I saw this, I go, great, this is good news because like I said, I'd rather be right and rich than wrong and poor. And I said, uh, this is only a rumor. This was just, <clears throat> my goodness, 20, 30 minutes ago. And I said, this is only a rumor and I'm happy wrong if it comes out and confirmed. Either way, I was, I'm, happy, I'm happy I was DCAing this whole time, which is true. We're up and uh, things are looking okay. So far, Bitcoin, so far is up, uh, actually it was up like 8%, almost 10% in the last 24 hours. You can see this monstrous spike right here. Look at this. Wow, amazing. 29,483 from 27,700. Pretty good day for somebody. And then if you're going to look at alts, there's uh, some other ones that have gone up, you know, massively, Solana and so on and so forth. And of course, it's come down to reality. And the reason it's come down to reality is that it was fake. It was all fake. And this was actually broken by Cointelegraph. Breaking, SEC approves iShares Bitcoin spot ETF. Fantastic, right? However, this is Eleanor Tourette. Tourette. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, she is a Fox Business journalist and producer. And she, BlackRock has just confirmed to me that this is false. Their application is still under review. That's a bummer, right? That's a shame. So what happened? Well, things go, come down to reality. And uh, I put this out actually, and said, you know, hey, let's see. I go to my profile. And I said, yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, thank you, Eleanor. I think this isn't market manipulation. Let's see what happens to the price now. You might want to take some profits. And that was just, yeah, it was 27 minutes ago. So time really does move fast. And what does this mean? Well, if we take a look at uh, total liquidations in the last hour, uh, you had almost 100 million, well, 100 million total, but uh, shorts and longs got wrecked, most of the shorts. So if you were in a short position and you got wrecked, I mean, sorry, it's just how it goes because that's how we move things in the crypto market, just by you know, rumors and a maybe here and a maybe there. And uh, it's a bummer. And I got to tell you, just between us, I think that this could be pretty good fodder for Gary Gensel and the SEC to say, you know what? You know how we said things were manipulated? Well, this is a great base case for that. And of course, people will say, well, Rob, you know, you don't understand that's, a, that's the free market. You really, really can't control that. The question is going to come down to if that's, well, first of all, there's actually two things. If you think about it logically, just the rumor of a spot ETF can make it go up that high. So when people are talking about this and saying, you know what, this is great because when the spot ETF does get approved, it'll really go up. You are 100% correct. The problem with that is that if Gary and the SEC are looking at this and going, you know what? I mean, can we have market manipulation just on a rumor from an outside source that no one really approves? And then all of a sudden it, it rockets up and that can be done at any time of the day. And then we can take a look at what happens with liquidations. I'm not trying to make the base case for the SEC. I'm just telling you, like if people are saying that this is a foregone conclusion that this ETF is going to be approved like tomorrow, I don't think that's really the case. And um, that's true. So we have that. And of course, people will say, well, Rob, you know, it's, you know, precious metals. And of course, the equities market is definitely manipulated. Exactly it is. Exactly it is. The thing is that the SEC doesn't have their grimy little hands around everything except for our market. And that's what they want. So I understand the conclusions and I understand where we're going from. I just look at this and I go, and I hope it, it comes out because it'll be a great day for everybody in their portfolio. And let's be honest, we all could use a win. Things are coming out. So. That's what we have for today. Just wanted to make a quick, quick segment before someone heard something about, oh, it's, it's going up massively uh, and I should dump all my money into it before, you know, I miss my opportunity, before 
Uh, it goes off to the moon before the next educator or influencer you want to call tells me that I have to get in today because of what's happening. It's false. It hasn't happened yet. So just take it for what it is. And that's it. Uh, that's all I want to talk about. Quick uh, session. If you want to do a little q and I'll do that. Uh, usually like in this, this time of the day, I'm usually working out or having coffee. So bear with me. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit off so far. All right. Let's, let's uh, jump into it.